Five, four, three, two, one. Greetings. Behold, the Triumph Thunderbird Commander the only motorcycle thing with a longer name than me. If you're experiencing deja vu, relax. You've certainly seen me before, and you've certainly seen a Triumph that looked a lot like this back in 2012, the Thunderbird Storm. The Commander is a little bit different. For starters, it's not all black, which disappoints me greatly, but lovers of gleaming chrome and beautiful paint will rejoice. There's lots of both, and they are of a very high standard. As is the new seat with a super comfy ass lump. Ergonomically, it's pretty much spot on for long distance cruisery rubbish. Footboards have replaced the Storm's foot pegs, so you can move your feet around a bit when you start to seize up from old age. The engine is the same, a handsome liquid cool parallel twin. It pounds out about 151 newton meters of torque at 3300 RPM and produces an honest 94 horses. Interestingly, the Commander tends to come off the line with a little bit more punch than the big American twins it competes with, probably due to the fact that it isn't being forced to move Yankee flywheels that weigh more than a small moon. The handling is surprisingly good. It boasts 7 inch wheels, low profile tyres, adjustable for preload rear suspension, and doesn't require much effort to tip in. Yes, 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 ground clearance, it has some. And it's adequate unless the crazy dickhead thing comes up, then the footboards make a happy noise. The suspension surprised me, it was better than I thought, but it's never going to be as good as the crazy dickhead wants it to be. Of course, if you're not being a crazy dickhead, then it's perfectly adequate. I found reaching for the sides down my long model legs a bit of a stretch. and. Triumph puts this stupid piece of metal just inside the petrol hole and that makes me crazy. Thankfully, I only need to be crazy every 280 k's or so. But seriously, is there need to spoof me with petrol every time I fill up? That shit burns, I'm telling you. Happily, the ignition key is easy to get to and intuitively turns on and off in the right directions. Sadly, there's another key that locks the steering. No, I do not know why a bike needs two different keys in 2015. Look, as far as cruisers go, it's a pretty damn good package. And certainly worth a look at if you're after a mile munching, easy riding twin that is not in the shape of a V. It's good to know that Thunderbirds are still ghosts.